Tony Stewart is in the clear after the car killed Kevin Ward Jr. Don Dollar reports for WJZ. Now we're learning what details of the crash played the biggest role in the court's decision. The incident happened during a dirt track race in Canandaigua, New York. On the evening of August 9th, Kevin Ward Jr. and Tony Stewart were racing closely into a turn when Ward spun out. The 20-year-old driver got out of his car and angrily pointed towards Stewart. One car managed to swerve around Ward before Stewart hit him. Ontario County District Attorney Michael Tantillo says visual evidence video. was important. Well, the videos actually did not uh, demonstrate any aberrational driving by Tony Stewart until the point of impact with Kevin Ward. According to the DA, Ward had enough marijuana in his system to be impaired. The fact that Kevin Ward was observed running basically down two-thirds of the track into a hot track in the middle of other cars that were still racing played a big, big factor in their decision. The driver of the car that missed Ward was called to testify, along with other drivers, racetrack employees, and accident reconstruction experts. Stewart's reputation for angry outbursts on and off the track helped fuel speculation that the death was no accident. It took nearly three weeks before Stewart spoke publicly. Yeah, this has been one of the toughest tragedies I've ever had to deal with, both professionally and personally. And this is something that will definitely affect my life forever. Two days later, the three-time NASCAR champion returned to racing. After the decision, Stewart issued a statement saying the attention should not be on him, but on remembering Kevin Ward Jr. Ward's mother says the family will, quote, pursue all remedies in fairness to Kevin, unquote.